with more clarity about this experience we call life. For those who are on the so-called journey of self-discovery, I think realizing that you don't have a life is very important. Let me explain. For years, a lot of us have been carrying life on our shoulders. It may feel as if life is a burden at times, and all you want is to be free from it. Anxiety just randomly brings worrying into your experience. Tears holding you back from reaching your potential, and all you want is a break from having a life. Well, good news, you don't have a life and you have never had one. It's the character you believe yourself to be that claims to have life. The one who claims to having something doesn't actually exist. Ask yourself now, who is it that has a life? Don't answer this mentally. I want you to find the one who claims it. Remember, you are not the mind or the body. Notice that you can't physically see, imagine, or feel the one who claims to have a life. It only appears to exist in the mind. A lot of you know that the false self doesn't actually exist. But knowing this mentally won't do anything for you. You have to constantly check and see through experience until one day an energetic shift becomes permanent and the illusions of the character are seen straight through. You see, there is no one actually here. It's all just consciousness. There is no such thing as separation. It's all the one and only consciousness that you truly are. There is no entity here to claim having a life, and it's actually a very beautiful thing to realize. Don't think that it's scary. How could it be scary if there isn't anyone here to be scared? The mind is trying to fool you. It's actually beautiful when consciousness comes to realize itself. Your experience will now be experienced through new eyes, not from the eyes of the character, but directly from the source. You'll realize that life is all there is, and you will realize that you are literally life itself. Nothing can exist without you, but you can exist without nothing. What you are is life, you aren't the experiences of it. You are that which allows the experiences to exist. That's your power. That's how powerful you truly are. You are a source itself, but you just don't realize that yet. You may understand it, but claiming to understand something is just more fuel for the false self. You must realize this. Realize it now, you're not realizing this as a human body and mind. You are consciousness realizing itself. I know how painful suffering is. Trust me, I've been through so much mentally, but it's the very reason why I share what I share now. I never saw myself doing what I'm doing now two years ago, even though there's actually no one here doing anything. I'm just trying to explain that we don't have to let pain kill us. We don't have to have a negative outlook on pain and suffering. How could you possibly grow if you have never had any life challenges? You would be satisfied and weak, probably. If you never had hardships in life, you wouldn't be here watching this video trying to heal. Allow pain to teach, that's one of the main reasons for it. Even though there is nobody here to claim being in pain, and there's actually nobody here watching this video, that was all just some motivating words for the illusionary self to hear. Now, knowing that you don't have a life does not mean giving up the experience of being human. Just because the self doesn't actually exist, 
This doesn't mean you're going to be some boring, empty observer for the rest of your experience. There is still going to be a character here and away after awakening, but it's not like you're thinking about it and complaining and trying to be someone for the world. You're just free because you see that you are life itself and you'll develop. This trust in life, knowing that life has always taken care of life, so worrying just falls away. A lot falls away, actually. Suffering completely goes away because there's nobody here to suffer. Even if negative emotions arise, you still see that it is life happening. It's not happening to nobody. It's just life happening. We hear it all the time. I hate my life. I'm so tired of my life. I wish my life could be different. It's pointless. Why are you causing so much stress believing that you ever had a life? It's one of the main reasons you believe we hate it because you carry this big responsibility of making sure your life is perfect and making sure you're in control of your life. Let it go. You do not have a life because there is no you here to claim it. You are alive. What you are is life itself. You're the source of the universe's biggest mystery. If someone asked me what life is, I would reply, You are it. But I'm not talking about the character, body, and mind. I'm talking about the source that allows the body and mind to exist within it. And it's what you truly are. You have to be willing to let go of who you think you are because it's all a creation of the mind and what you are is above it. It's that which is aware of its activity. There's no need to beg for freedom, even for the ones who are unfortunately locked away for life behind a cell. They are free. The only thing that makes us believe we aren't is the mind and, of course, their environment. Yes, their body and mind may be limited behind bars, but that's not what they are anyway. You're not a physical thing or a visible object. You are formless. Anything that has formed can only exist within you. Thoughts exist within you. The body exists within you. You are not in the universe. The universe is within you. You are the source of all existence. It's literally what you are, and you can experience returning back to this state. It's not really a return, as if you lost it. It's more like you are looking for your glasses for 20 years, and you realize you had them on the whole time. It's a beautiful welcome home. Your aha moment, if you will. Do not believe this is something you have to work years to achieve. Yes, it may appear to take time for us, but it's here already. What you are is already here. It's not a journey. There is no destination. Life is here right now. If it wasn't, there wouldn't be an experience. You are here. Know this. That is all for today. I thank you and love you all. Until next time, walk in light. Be sure to check out the Your Higher Self Challenge link in the description and join the rest of the Your Higher Self community in helping feed others around the world, where $5 can feed 8 people.